Hello, my name is Natasha Lloyd Best and I am a freelance photographer in Denmark. I was born and raised in England, but in 2006 I moved to Denmark because I met my husband and now we live here and we have two beautiful children. I started my company, Lloyd Best Photography, about three years ago and I primarily work in Denmark, but I, for the last year, I've broadened my clientele to work within Europe mainly, but um, I do, I have worked outside of Europe as well. Um, I basically don't have a restriction because I love to travel, so I'm happy to go anywhere. And <laughs> being freelance, I can take a job wherever I want, really. So that's, uh, that's not really an issue. So when I was a child, I wanted to be a vet or a sports teacher and I can confidently say I didn't do either of those two things. <laughs> I went to college, I studied travel and tourism for two years, I worked in a business travel agency, I was a business travel consultant for about eight years and then I met my husband online playing World of Warcraft and then I moved to Denmark. That's a very quick <clears throat> like story of what happened through my life um, so then actually we I when I moved to Denmark we got married three years later and then we went traveling and part of our kind of deal with each other when we went traveling for our honeymoon was that um, we wanted to kind of break out of our shells and just find something new that we wanted to do because we knew that we didn't want to do the jobs we were doing already. Um, I, For me, I wanted to get out of an office and become more, um, not necessarily an outdoors person, but I just wanted to be more active in my work and get away from a desk. Um, I was very naive, I think, when I chose your photography because I thought, well, then I'm out using a camera, right? Yeah, okay, 10% of the time is probably photographing and then 90% of the time I'm probably behind my desk editing and trying to get clients and answering emails and doing my admin and my tax returns. And yeah, so <laughs> I was very naive when I changed jobs. Um, but that's basically the background is that, you know, from where I wanted to be as a kid to where I am now. Um, yeah, so I've been in business with Lloyd Best Photography for about three years or so. I love it. I like being a freelance photographer. But that also, the journey of registering my business to where I am now with it, I started off in portraiture. And I love doing that to begin with because I practiced on myself when I was pregnant. I practiced on the kids. I was ready to take people's pictures of their families and maternity and... And I did a great job at it, but the problem was is I actually spent quite a lot of time indoors again um, instead of getting out because the weather in Denmark can be very changeable um, and unpredictable. So a lot of my sessions would move from being an outdoor session to then an indoor session. So I had to turn a part of my house into a studio and I wasn't too happy about that, but I still did it. And that went on for a couple of years until I finally, I lost my mum to cancer. And that was really the catalyst for everything because I just looked at my husband and said, why am I doing this job in this way when I've always said in an ideal world, I would probably be a National Geographic photographer, traveling, exploring the world and living my life like out, really out there, right? Like, why am I half in this home studio, sometimes getting outdoors, but photographing just families. Like, I feel like there's more to it than that. So um, I was very good at, <laughs> I think, taking a really negative time in my life of losing my mum and turning that around. And I think also part of it was because I wanted some time to grieve. So I last all of last year I did a lot of traveling to change my portfolio and I changed it from being portraiture into um, travel adventure and landscape so I did a complete overhaul of my website and everything um, but 
I'm not scared of failure and I think success is, for me, success is based on how I feel about my job versus how much money I'm making. So for me, I'm way more richer by being up on a mountain, seeing this amazing sunset or sunrise and just exploring and being with people and having this amazing time and it could sometimes be a bad time but you kind of laugh about it later right you have to kind of laugh when you're adventuring um, about most situations <laughs> but that to me is way more fulfilling than earning a lot of money now rightly so earning a lot of money is pretty nice too but if I didn't ever earn money and I just had these amazing experiences, I would die pretty happy from that. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a pretty positive person on that scope. And I think when I went into photography, I never really entered my mind that this is a male-dominated career because... Yeah, sure, you know, like, I think actually all the books I own on photography are all male um, photographers. But it never really dawned on me in my head, well, why am I doing this as a female? Because I think I just live in that kind of time now where there's not many careers left that are purely just for men. Like, I have no ambition to be like a bricklayer okay, and carry a ton of bricks on my shoulder and things. No ambition to do that at all. But I'm sure there's a lot of women out there who could do it. Great. But I don't think we really live in that time where we go, but that job's for a man and that job's for a woman anymore. I think we've shed that skin. So when I went into photography, I was looking at it as I want to use this as a, an outlet for my art. So I never thought, well, art is predominantly male, so I shouldn't do it. And no one ever said to me, you shouldn't do it. And I've never had negativity. And I know of probably about two female photographers I actually know of and met and like are people I've either worked with or friends I have. And then the rest are men. So if you look at it from that perspective, it's like, you know, 20% female, 80% men that I know that are photographers. But it doesn't matter. Like, I've literally gone on shoots, like, you know, kind of hobby-like shoots where you kind of say to a couple of your friends who are also photographers, hey, should we go out and do, like, a night shoot in London, like, when we were, I was living in London? And we would do that, and I was the only girl, and, you know, there was a couple of guys, and... But no one ever was negative about that. And I never felt odd about it either. And I don't know if it's just because I'm a bit of a tomboy and I've kind of grown up, you know, with my brother and I've never really kind of thought about what's man and what's women, that like the job roles that we should do, that I've always just kind of mucked in and, and done the same kind of work as my brother and we were raised by doing the same chores um, so I don't really have that in me, like inbred in me, that's for sure, no. Definitely the hardest thing in being a freelance photographer is consistently getting new work. Um, it's definitely the hardest thing because if I don't put in the work, I don't earn money. <laughs> so, um, it's all on me, right? And, um, that's definitely the hardest thing. I don't really feel like I get any kind of negativity through being a female photographer. I don't feel like companies kind of look at me like I can't do the job because I think photography is one of those things, right, where it's not, it's physical, but it's not, you know, something that a woman can't do. So I don't think there is that, that kind of terrible shadowing of a woman that it's like well you can't do this because it's really heavy work you know I'm not trying to be a bricklayer I'm just having to lift my camera and just be creative it's art essentially and I don't think art has ever had that barrier of 
whether it's a man or a woman's job, not really. So I think if you're really um, passionate about a career or a type of work, then I don't think anyone should ever feel like they shouldn't do it because of their gender. Um, or often even age. I think age can, people get a little bit like, oh, am I too young to start doing this? Or am I too old to be still doing it? I think, um, I think just go for it. You only live once, right? So I'm trying to live the best life I can. And I'm passionate about arts and light and movement and connection. So with those four kind of elements, that's how I photograph. So everything I photograph is because I like the way the light is in that scene and or I like the connection between two things or, you know, I think it looks kind of artistic or maybe I'll slow the shutter speed down because then we get some movement in the shot and that makes it more artsy and I like that kind of thing. So. Everything I photograph is normally based along that line. Like I'm very influenced by those four elements to all of my photography. And I think if you're really passionate about about something and and kind of honest with yourself too and allow yourself to be passionate, don't ever let somebody else tell you that you can't do it or the biggest one that I ever got told was oh but it's a really hard thing to get into what I tend to do is if somebody's negative about what I'm doing or what I want to do or some kind of goal I have I tend to use that as fuel for the fire um, I often want to flip it and show them that they're wrong so um, I've always been passionate about being artistic, I've always been artistic in different ways throughout my life but now I have an outlet for it and I'm damned if I'm gonna let anyone stand there and say I can't do it or I shouldn't do it or it's too hard to do it so I just shouldn't bother I just think that's ridiculous so I think if you're passionate, like my biggest advice if you're really passionate about doing something get really razor focused on it, allow yourself to be passionate, allow yourself to want to succeed and don't let anyone stand in your way because the more you succeed at what you're passionate about, the more richer you are as a person on the inside and that doesn't then matter what anyone says to you because when you're happy and rich about what you're doing you're so fulfilled that even if somebody says something negative it just it's like water off a duck's back for me it just doesn't really affect me because i don't care because i'm doing what i love doing and i think that's the fundamental thing is just don't care about what other people think just do what makes you happy